system requirements. It's essential that your PC meets the minimum requirements as detailed on the game's packaging. Okay. There are no requirements on the packaging. You know what that means. One does not simply run Crisis. Crisis runs you. Welcome, my fellow duplicates, to the Expressive Upgrade Preview. Now, there's a couple of things that have been introduced to the game with this preview, or this update, that will be going live here in the next two weeks. Some things are rough, not everything is fully implemented, but let's take a look at what's now available. So, first things first, we can kind of save a couple of camera positions. So, if I just press uh, Control and then a, a position, like if I just press Control 1, I'm going to hold this view right here. Now, I've already saved a second camera so if i press shift and then go to two oh, i'll go right down here and i'll see that these duplicates are doing some things that i've never seen them do before rowan over here is playing crisis three and this rowan is also talking to that rowan so that's kind of cool we also see that camille up here is eating inside of a mess room because what they want to do now as per the patch notes is that they're going to hold off eating and peeing and, and doing things that are leisure. And they're going to do that within this kind of cycle window over here. So you see at the very beginning, you have your, you, you sleep and then you wake up in the morning and there's an area where you can use something like a shower and before you run off or, or whatever you need to do for the rest of the day. There's a small window of time where the duplicates will, will do that. And then there's the work day. And then you have your leisure time, which is kind of like the, brown color unfortunately i can't click on the manage schedule but i'm guessing that there's going to be some sort of bar system or something like that similar to some other games that we've seen in the past as far as whether or not a duplicate can partake in leisure time so what is all of this about well all of this boils down to a new metric that the game is using to track whether or not a duplicate is going to be in stress or not in stress and that is quality of life. Now that is linked directly to the job system that we had previously. You see that the rest of the things is the food and all that went away. And now you just see quality of life. So we have different tiers and then you have different plus numbers to kind of tell you where you are and you know what you need to achieve in order to make sure that you don't stress out your duplicates. So if we take a look at our Rowan twins, we see that they are currently experiencing a quality of life of five. So the duplicate has plus one. So it starts off at plus one. They slept in a bedroom last night. There's something there that I can't see just yet. And that's plus two. They took a break at the end of the day. So that's plus one. And they're able to talk with some friends because they're next to some recreation equipment, be it the water cooler or the arcade cabinet. However, the number is also minus one because they ate some awful food. Let's take a look at Camille though. Her quality of life at the moment is nine. Pretty much everything is the same except for she's eating in a mess hall which gives her plus three. Now the food inside of here is actually fantastic. I've made it, you know, the, the pepper bread right there. So if we take a look at the bread and we look over at pepper bread, you can see that the quality is plus five, superb. And she has also many different things that are you know, on her that kind of will boost her quality of life. So that, that was awful food. It's plus five. Yo, why are your requirements so high, Camille? Like, I don't even know what to do with you. So one of the things we're probably going to see over the next couple of weeks is as they implement this system, they're going to play around with it a little bit and we're probably going to see some different things happen. And you can see that the decor here, for some odd reason, is actually negative. Minus 2,500 per cycle. So yeah, there's some bugs right there. However, the decor in this area, which is kind of the old school metric, is plus 280 or 250. It's just incredibly high. So you can see my base right here. This top area is kind of a horrible place to be. There's like polluted water. You could step in right there and a bunch of crap on the floor. So it's all like negative. Down below is actually kind of a normalish area, you know, plus 20 here and there, plus six. Not really that great, but not really that bad either. So below that is a very nice area where the decor range is anywhere from like 60 all the way up to like 183 <laughs> at certain points. And then down here at the bottom is like the overkill decor in some areas going as high as 350 because the floor is made of gold and we also got like shine bugs and everything inside of here 
So the decor is not the only factor that contributes to the quality of life. There's many different things that are contributing to that. So let's say I move Nicola all the way up here in the middle of the night. He's just absolutely going to hate this. Oh, did you see that? Nicola moved into this water, and then when he stepped out, he had a new animation that I've never seen before. Okay, so his bladder is at 100%. Will he still go to the bathroom? Yes, yes he will. So unfortunately, Nicola here has a lot of things wrong with him. He's grimy, he's got diarrhea, he can't reach a bed, he's got soggy feet. <laughs> he's got a full bladder. And apparently that still results in a quality of life of two. So that's not too bad. Not to mention it's cold where he is. So right now he would be experiencing plus 40% stress per cycle. And we can see here in under stress that lacking quality of life really only contributes for 10% per cycle. So quality of life is not everything as far as stress is concerned. It's part of the full equation. So you can see these two dupes right here are right next to each other. And they were actually talking to each other just there for a moment. And that's one of the new interactions that you see that these duplicants will do. And they're also going to tell you different things, you know, like they don't like certain stuff on the floor and whatnot. So if I just take Ashkin right here and I move him up into this area, I should get a couple of notifications that we haven't necessarily seen before. Let's just follow him real quick. He's like, oh, it's cold. He's kind of moving his mouth and stuff a little bit more, which is a new animation, I believe. Or, for example, if I were to move him next to, let's say, this refrigerator, he might tell me that, hey, this thing isn't plugged in. So, he just gave me a little pop up here. He's like, hey, where's the food at? Yeah, see, here's some more interactions between Rowan and Camille here. Yeah, see, they're all having a conversation right there. Oh! Oh, man, you just got rejected, Nicola. Sorry, bud. Nobody wants to talk to you. So that's just about it for all the new stuff here in this upgrade. But wait, there's more. You may have noticed that this map here does not look like any other map you've seen before. Check it out. You want to guess what this map is called? I'll give you a hint. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this new map that is available, if you want to try something a little bit custom, is called The Rock. The environment you have to deal with in order to survive The Rock is incredible. Look at this. You've got this very small starting biome right here. Next to that, you've got super hot magma right next to very cold biomes, right next to biomes that are exposed to the vacuum of space. This, ladies and gentlemen is going to be one challenging map. So what are my thoughts here on this upgrade? Well, I like that we're getting a lot more animations and a lot more interactions between the duplicants. I feel like that makes the game quite a bit more personal. I, I also do like the idea of quality of life in the base and how that contributes to the jobs and you know how we can kind of tie this thing together. However, I would like to know a little bit more clearly how these you know, numbers are calculated and, and created and what we can do to increase that number. I mean, you can see inside of here, I have many different like rooms and whatnot, and that should increase the quality of life. So I would expect a duplicate inside of this area to have a very, very high quality of life, but it doesn't necessarily communicate that right off the bat. So we'll have to see what, you know, happens over the next couple of weeks here. I have seen the quality of life be as high as 24 for the duplicate that's inside of like this really nice area down here. The other thing I do like is how the duplicates really prioritize their time as far as not just running to the shower in the middle of the day that, you know, makes the base quite a bit more efficient and kind of allows you to kind of plan what corner sort of paths they're going to take. Plus the idea of having a recreation room means that you're going to try to bring duplicates to a certain spot and then move them away. I also would like the idea I, even though I haven't seen it in patch notes, of having like a, an anti-social duplicate that doesn't want to interact with other duplicates and gets a bonus to quality of life if they're avoiding people. I think that would be an interesting twist to this update, you know, for those duplicates that really spend a lot of their time away from all the other dupes. We also see down here there's going to be some technical changes that'll hopefully improve the performance of the game. 
a little bit more than it already is. I think they've made some big progress over the last couple of updates, and it's nice to see that they're continuing to improve that. I like this update. It changes how you might want to plan out your base a little bit as far as treating your duplicates like actual people, as opposed to solving new technical problems that this update introduces or takes away. So it's a little bit different than some of the last updates we've seen here recently. So now we have more reasons to make things like comfy beds and focus on different rooms and whatnot, not just for stress bonuses, but actual, you know, quality of life and just making your base overall better. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you guys have found this little video somewhat helpful or informative. And if I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Have a great day, guys. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar, out.